Yo guys, how's it going? Shane or Shanadian here, back with another video for you. Um, so today we are going to be diving under a bridge in Spokane, uh, Spokane, Washington. It is, it looks like it's a pretty popular bridge. I've only been here a few times. I've never actually dove here. I just drive by it when I'm going to some other spots. But it looks kind of interesting. Um, as you can hear, there's a lot of traffic around me. So I'm hoping it's pretty busy. Uh, the water looks really clear right now. I'll show you guys. Um, this is the water. And then this is the actual bridge that I'm going to be going under. So it's pretty pretty popular you can see all the cars going above and then there's a lot just around me going on so um hopefully we find some cool stuff under there you know um but yeah that's gonna be it i'm gonna go get my gear on and then i'll see you guys in the water peace yo guys what's going on i am back so it's actually been about four hours since i saw since i just did that intro um i had a pretty rough time i was getting my stuff set up and i locked myself out of my car so first what happened was my scuba tank fell out of the back of my car and broke open so like a piece of like the screw on the back that you screw in to like hold the tank in place it broke and then the air was just going everywhere so i closed my door ran and i turned that off and then i threw it in because i knew it was broken so i had to go get it fixed and i closed that door and then i got locked out of my car so it's been about four hours i finally got my car unlocked i got my tank fixed and now we're back to uh finally dive this bridge so i just want to keep you guys updated on like what was happening um but yeah now let's actually get in the water so see you in there
guys what's going on we just hopped out of the water um it was a great dive really cold there was a lot of freaking crawfish i'm sure i showed you all of my little scares um they're really annoying but we found some pretty cool stuff um but i'm gonna go through and i'll show you everything that we found so just stay tuned and let's jump into it 
All right, guys, I'm sorry if it's super loud. I'm gonna try to talk over it. There's a lot of traffic and stuff going on around me. I'm in like the middle of the city, but um, we got a bunch of cans, some, some old ones. This one looks really old, I'm not even sure. Just a lot of uh, older cans and stuff, and then like a coffee mug. Um, then we'll move down. So this is like a, one of those wastes that they used to like throw in there and go fishing and like try to find stuff. I'll show you. That's crazy. It is super powerful, super strong, really cool. I've never found one of those before. Now I see the rope, some rope, some extra rope that it was attached to and all that. Um, some wires, just like random wires. And then we have like a charger here that got broken off. That's pretty cool. Um, so I think this is like a glow stick kind of thing, you know, like what people use to like marshal and stuff. Um, obviously it doesn't work anymore, but there's some liquid in there and stuff. It's kind of cool. But um, and then we have the license plate and the golf balls. The license plate is awesome. I've never found like an actual license plate. I'm pretty sure I can show it because it's from a long time ago. 2015 was like the last renewed date, so it should be okay to show. But um, yeah, and then we got all those golf balls. Always fun to find. Um, we'll move down. We got like the lure, uh, the bobber, sorry. Uh, I think this is a... Actually, I don't know what it is. I was going to make myself look probably stupid, but... If you guys can tell me what this is, that'd be awesome, because I honestly have no idea. Um, but yeah, we have that, <laughs> whatever it is. This, I'm not sure, isn't it like a, for, either for towels or like a wristband or for hair? I'm not sure, that's a lot of stuff, but I feel like I see these on towels sometimes, but I don't know. Let me know what that is as well. Um, then we've got some scraps, stuff like that, and this, uh, it doesn't work. I wish it did, but we got a lighter, that's pretty cool. Um, we got this huge freaking spring. Like it is mad. I don't even know if it's a spring. It's just like a coil of metal, but it is huge. Um, it's pretty heavy too. But uh, that, that's pretty cool. Then we go over here. We got the reel, and it does not work at all. It looks destroyed, but it's kind of cool. Cool to find a reel. We got the, <laughs> the freaking um, roller for paint. I'm assuming it's paint, but it's just a roller. There you go. There's an overview. And we have the two cards. So I turned this one upside down because there's somebody's name on it. I don't really want to give away their name. And then we have like a Walmart gift card. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is just like a, a member's card. So um, yeah. And then one of the cooler things is just weight. So it's a four pound or a four kilo. Am I stupid? Okay, so it's a four kilo weight and then 8.8 .8 pounds so i'm not really sure it's from orbitron is the company name but like i have no idea what it's for i don't know it's so random i've never found like just a straight weight in here i thought it was a wheel at first but no it is definitely a weight but um that's pretty cool and then we're gonna move over to my favorite finds of the day all right so we got three freaking phones obviously they are absolutely destroyed um <laughs> but they're still super duper cool um, I'm not really sure what brand most of them are. This one, I don't even know if it has a brand on it. I can't see one. Um, if you guys know, let me know what any of them are. I think this one, yeah, this one's an LG. There's that. And then this one, once again, no idea. It is absolutely destroyed. Um, but yeah, that's super sick to find three of them. I've never found three in a dive. So that is awesome. And then for my favorite find of today is this magazine. So when I first got it, I honestly thought it was a real magazine. Like I was like thinking in my head, I need to go up, I need to call the police. And like I thought that until I got up here and took like a closer look at it. But it's actually for like airsoft or BBs. Um, so you can see like where just like the BBs will go in and they'll come down here. So that that got me. It is because it's really heavy. Like it is, it's like a magazine, like a real loaded magazine, heavy. But um, I was wrong. This is just a BB magazine. So yeah, no no cops need to be called on this one. But uh, still crazy to find one of those. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, give you guys a little overview of everything. So we got those, and then just all this stuff right here. Cool, cool stuff. Really awesome. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, the dive part. Um, me getting scared a lot by all the crawfish and them just being everywhere. Um, the current was pretty strong today, but it was a really fun dive. Pretty cold. I didn't last too long. Um, and then obviously at the beginning of the video, my tank broke and I got locked in my car. So it was it was a rough video. It was a rough day, but I ended it on a good note. I'm really glad I could find all that stuff. But uh, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This could be us. So back to what I was saying.